Hey everyone, Nicole here, and today I'm down in my craft room. I have my studio lights on, I put on my microphone, and I thought I would create a quick card using my new paper collection with Wild Whisper Media Assemblage. So if you don't know about this paper, it is using mixed media techniques, mixed media products, to create different looks on each page. So uh, if you don't have all the products, but you like a look and you're considering buying it, or maybe you don't like the mix, mess of mixed media, but you like the look of it. These papers are for you because you can just die cut stamp, scrapbook, incorporate into your art journals. Anything you can dream up, you can do with this paper. So, and I've taken the mess out of it. So, also I'm gonna be using from Wild Whisper my new botanic stamp as well. And we're gonna be creating a quick little card that was inspired by my friend Julia, who made a great art journal using the uh, alcohol inks page. And it kind of makes it look like stained glass, so I was completely inspired and thought we'd make a quick little card. So let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, I don't have a whole lot of supplies and you don't need a whole lot of supplies to create this. I'm using the Gina, Gina K permanent ink and I'm just gonna load up my stamp with ink. All right, so let's check how that's stamped. That looks great, and the reason why we use the stamp platform, so if you need to add more ink and have a precision stamping, that's what's great about it. So I'm gonna focus around these leaves and some of the flowers, and I'm gonna ink that side up. Okay, so as you can see, the image isn't totally stamped. Actually, that's really pretty just on its own, but I'm gonna be die cutting this area out here, so I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so I've just die cut out just this simple little circle and you can kind of see some of the stamped image on there. And it's just gonna be a little pop of color. So I'm gonna take the bottom layer and I'm gonna glue it into place. And I'm keeping all the design really nice and plain so that that paper can pop. Once you have your dimensionals on, you're gonna line up the stamped image on the media assemblage paper to the stamped image on the white. And then I'm going to just write down in my best chicken scratch I can, the word joy. So to add a little bit more color, I stamped the flutter butterfly, say that five times fast, onto the same media assemblage alcohol ink paper and I'm just gonna place it with another dimensional. These are the little teeny tiny ones from Scrapbook Adhesive. I love these. I'm gonna curl the wings. And there you have a really fast little card that you can create when you don't have a lot of time or if you need to do a few cards, maybe have 20 on hand. These are really fast to produce and it just adds a little bit of color and really shows off the beautiful media assemblage paper. All right, you guys, that's it for me. I hope you have a super crafty day and thanks for stopping by and make sure you hit the subscribe button on my YouTube channel. I am rebuilding my channel, so every subscription makes me look super professional. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. Bye.